Hey guys, this is Payesh from BioM.com and Samsung phones are super popular in India. And that means a lot of you guys use One UI as a daily driver. Now I know that you all know about One UI features, tips and tricks and whatnot, but I think there are some really cool, some hidden One UI settings that you should be changing right away. Now before I talk about One UI settings, I want to give a huge shout out to our sponsors for this video, Wondershare Mobile Trans, which solves a big problem. Well, mobile trans lets you transfer WhatsApp data, be it chats, media, links from an Android device to an iPhone and vice versa. That's not all. It also lets you back up your WhatsApp data to PC. Now, this is great. And you know what? Wondershare is also giving away a flagship 5G phone of your choice right now. And you can also get 20% off on Wondershare mobile trans with this coupon code. So yeah, check out mobile trans and the 5G phone giveaway from the link in the description down below. See, I'm someone who has been guilty of putting my phone on silent and then forgetting to put it back on ring or on vibrate and as a result missing a lot of important calls. Now we generally just use the volume button to mute calls or put it on vibrate and One UI even has a quick setting toggle for this. But there's another very interesting option. I'm talking about temporary mute. So a lot of people don't know that in quick settings you can just press the text in the toggles to get more options then and there. So I can expand the sound toggle and when I set the phone on mute, I get this temporary mute option right below. I can turn it on and then tap on details to set the mute time. I can set it to an hour, two hours or even set a custom time. So this way the phone will automatically go back to ringer after an hour or whatever time you have set. Super handy if you want to put your phone to silent for a meeting or a class maybe. So I've been using the S21 as my daily driver and there are times in the day when I'm just using the phone casually and I don't want the phone's battery to drain a lot. So I just turn on the power saving mode which limits CPU speed, turns off AOD, etc. But this also changes the screen refresh rate to standard from adaptive. Now I don't like that but the good news is there is a way to use the 120Hz adaptive refresh rate with the power saving mode turned on. Here are the steps. Now all you need to do is go to the motion smoothness settings in display. And here select adaptive, but don't hit apply just yet. Then press hold on the power saving mode toggle in quick settings. Here just choose the battery saving options and turn on the power saving mode. Now open the recent screen and go back to the motion smoothness page. Now, as you can see here, adaptive is not supported. It's grayed out, but it is in fact selected. Now I can hit apply and well, I am using the 120 Hertz mode with power saving mode turned on. Awesome trick, right? So the power button in Samsung phones can be used to activate Bixby, but the truth is nobody, absolutely nobody uses Bixby. But One UI has a side key option in the settings that lets you open up any app or open the camera instead of Bixby, but there's no way to set it to Google Assistant, at least natively. Well, what you can do is you can install this app by XDA called Bixby Button Remapper. I'll leave a link to the APK below. Now just install it and then go to side key settings. Here, select open app and here select Bixby button assistant remapper app. Now, whenever you double click on the power button, it will open up Google Assistant. Well, if you're a Samsung user, I'm pretty sure you've got these spammy notifications, AKA ads. I mean, when I was using the Galaxy S21 Ultra, I got a notification to buy the S21 Ultra. So yeah, that's not cool. But you know what, there is a way to, you know, disable these spammy notifications in One UI. So all you need to do is head to settings, privacy, and turn off receive marketing information if it's on. Now this is it, but there are a few other things you need to set right while setting up the phone. First up, when you get this page, you can only agree to the first two things here and you'll be fine. And this also disables the promotional notifications by default. Another hidden setting while set up is in this page. You can see how at the very end it says by tapping done, you agree to the policies of Glance, the promotional lock screen feature, My Galaxy, Galaxy Store, Search Within Apps and Discover. Now in the past, I've always tapped done and when I got these weird notifications from these apps, I used to wonder, I haven't even opened this app once, so how is it sending me notifications? Anyway, Samsung has very cleverly hidden the option to not agree to these apps policies. You can just tap here and as you can see, you get all of these options to untick each app one by one. So the usual share panel in One UI is filled with all the apps, but the cool thing is you can actually choose what apps you want to see in this panel. 
All you need to do is install GoodLock from the Galaxy Store. Then install the HomeUp module. Now in HomeUp, there is this Share Manager option where you can select apps you want to see in the Share panel. To give you an idea, I can just select these four apps. And now when I share something, say in the Gallery app, I only get these four apps in the Share panel. This is actually great. Now it's not just the Share panel, the HomeUp module in GoodLock is actually very useful. I love this folder title suggestion feature, which is basically AI suggesting folder names. I also like that I can back up the home screen and restore it when I switch to another Samsung phone. Now that's not all. I can also change the look and feel of the multitasking screen. I mean, GoodLock is something every single One UI user should install and try. I mean, the modules are awesome, so try it out. Fingerprint scanners, especially the on-screen ones on Samsung phones, aren't necessarily the fastest, we all know that. And there are some tips and tricks to speed things up, but there is one option in One UI that you should be checking out. So just go to settings, here search for optimized battery usage, and then go to it. Now this page shows you all the apps whose battery usage is being optimized. Anyway, here tap on this and select all to show all the apps. Now here just search for com.samsung.android.biometrics, and as you can see, battery optimization is turned on for this, which is strange, but yeah, you can just disable this and you should get slightly faster response when it comes to a fingerprint scanner. Now one UI comes with a call recorder built in, which is great. I mean, in a call, you can just tap on this menu button and hit record call to just start the recorder. So this is handy, but there's another one UI setting that you should enable. I'm talking about auto record calls. In the call settings, there is this record calls option, which has the auto call records option, which you can just turn on like this. Now, what's interesting is that you can customize which calls you want to record. Just tap here and you get these options. I can set the phone to record all of the calls or record calls from unknown numbers or record calls from only specific numbers or contacts. So I was talking about the issues while set up in Samsung phones and there is one more thing that I think you must have noticed while setting things up. I'm talking about this. Unused apps will be put to sleep to extend battery life. Now I get it, but this hampers the performance because this kills apps in the background. Now this feature is enabled by default and while you can disable it then and there, you can also disable it in the settings. In the battery settings, there is an option called app power management. Now here you can just disable the put unused apps to sleep option. Now, another thing you can do here is you can manually select apps that you don't use that much and add it to sleeping apps or even deep sleeping apps. You can even select the apps that you don't want to sleep ever. So yeah, there's a lot of control and this way you can make sure that one UI does not kill the apps you use a lot in the background. See, lower end or budget Samsung phones don't really offer the best performance or the best RAM management. And this is where the device care widget comes in really handy. So not many people know this, but in the widget space, there is the device care widget. And the four by one widget here shows you the storage used as well as the RAM used. It also has this optimize button on the right, which lets you clear cache and clear RAM in a single click. I mean, I know a lot of budget phone users who use third-party optimizer apps. So this native feature is something that they should be using on their phones. Well, those are all the cool One UI settings that you should be changing right away. And I've tried these out on the Galaxy S21 as well as the Galaxy M31s. So yeah, go ahead, change them right now. Also tell us in the comments, which One UI setting did you like the most? Also give this video a like, make sure to share it with your Samsung friends and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.